everyone. Today I'm going to do a review on the Project MC2 Adrian's Volcano doll. Uh, of course, you're not seeing a doll at the moment, you're seeing the doll's box. So I'm going to go over the doll's box first. Uh, supposedly this is a series that's on Netflix. I haven't actually gotten around to uh, seeing it just yet. I saw the uh, doll in a Christmas catalog and I thought, oh, that is so cool. So I wanted one. And um, it was put out in 2015 by MGA Entertainment Incorporated, made in China. Uh, the UPC, it's safety tested. Uh, UPC is 03505153758. And um, if you ever, I don't know, you may want to go to www.mgae.com. There might be uh, some information or other toys. Uh, it's for ages 6 and up. It's got, it's definitely got uh, small parts, so, you know, you want to be careful. So, um, the doll's name apparently is Adrian Adams. People say girls are made from a pinch of sugar and spice, but I, Adrian Adams, have a more complex recipe. Following in my abuela's footsteps, I am a culinary chemist. Science is so delicious. My family recently moved here from Spain for my diplomat father's job. I love rescuing animals and hosting dinner parties. And down here it shows uh, apparently some of the other Project MC2 uh, dolls you can get. Uh, let me see. Bride and Bandweth, Michaela McAllister, uh, and Cameron Coyle. And visit our website at www.projectmc2.com for more experiments and a chance to join uh, Nav8, I guess. Okay. So, um, and then each uh, doll comes with its own experiment. Now, in this one, it's gonna it has a volcano experiment. And. Um, this is the pretty little insert that was inside the box. The doll, of course, was slightly complicated to get it uh, out of the box. Um, a little harder than what I would say a Journey Girl is, but uh, not quite as bad as Disney. Disney is a nightmare. Okay, and so here we got the stuff that comes with the doll. She comes with instructions. Um, she comes with a, a beaker-shaped comb, um, a little, uh, what do you call these things? Oh, a pipette. Yeah, I think pipette, pipette, I don't know. Um, a volcano and a doll stand. And also a, a beaker uh, stuff. Uh, she also comes with um, glasses. And... Uh, now you're seeing the doll herself. Oops, excuse me. And this is a close-up of the doll. I'll give a shot of her without the glasses. Okay. I'm going to put this uh, phone, my tablet, down so I can not have it move around so much. Okay, so she's a 12-inch doll in heels. Uh, my guess is that she's probably 11 and a half without them. Um, when I first got her, I wasn't actually that pleased with her. Uh, in the catalog, she looked really great. And then when I got her, she looked orange. And I'm like, what is it with this doll that she's looking orange, you know? Um, and then I, I didn't feel well enough to do the, uh, review of her, so I put her away. But she was in an air-conditioned room, so... But it seems to me she's become more orange. Now, my camcorder is not quite picking it up. Uh, but the outfit and the doll has definitely darkened over time. So this is one thing you'll have to uh, take into account. Um, as far as... Um, okay, well, I'll go with the... She's kind of built like the Monster High dolls. This doll was about $20. I think I got her from Toys R Us. No, I, I'm sorry. I got her off Amazon.com. 
Uh, so actually, I'm not sure if she's not cheaper or what the actual price usually is because Amazon tends to be a little more expensive than other places. Um, so she reminds me a lot of the Monster Hot as far as like how she's built, how the Monster Doll Hot uh, dolls are. Uh, but this doll is a little more cheaply made, uh, so you have to be careful about uh, how you move her. Um, I've already, when I read reviews about her, you know, there was parents complaining that the arms and legs snap off. Um, so she has a hair, a head that's, you know, very mobile. Um, torso doesn't twist, but the arms move and the elbows uh, bend and the hand bends too. And uh, same for the other side, you know, but I imagine uh, legs um, bend at the knees. Uh, you want to be careful about rotating, but they can go out. I don't think the feet bend uh, or, you know, the ankles don't bend. Um, she's wearing a little plastic headband with a bow. I really love her hair. Her hair is beautiful. It's kind of this honey colored and it's long. It goes all the way down to her kneecaps. Um, she's got brown eyes. Uh, she's wearing this kind of green garland type uh, necklace. Uh, pink with a uh, blouse with a floral print or actually I guess it's the dress I, I don't know whether it's meant to be a separate blouse but it seems to be part of the dress and then she's got this pink kind of tool like well not tool but a see-through sheer type of uh, fabric with bird prints black bow uh, belt uh, underneath she's got the indentation of underwear but they're not colored or anything um, she's wearing a white uh, sweater, and uh, this is her from the back. I imagine, it looks like the uh, clothes got Velcro. Yeah, Velcro in the back, so you can take the stuff. I haven't tried taking her clothes off um, yet. It seemed like a lot of trouble. Okay, she's wearing these kind of lacy type socks, and then she's got these... Lady Gaga type heels. Now another thing people complained about is that they said it was kind of ridiculous, you know, to have this science girl uh, wearing this type of outfit while performing uh, science experiments. Uh, and I, I see the point, but uh, <coughs> the thing is what people don't seem to understand about dolls. And I, I think you know, doll makers often make a lot of mistakes, and parents make a lot of mistakes a lot of times, uh, not understanding this basic concept. Dolls are not meant to represent reality. Dolls are meant to represent whatever our idea of a perfect world is. So the idea of a perfect world is that you can be a brainiac and be sexy and you can wear the sexy outfit and the Lady Gaga heels while you do your experiments without the fear that you're going to fall and hydrochloric acid's going to burn your face off and you're going to live a freak in the sewers uh, playing a pipe organ and eating rats. Okay, <laughs> that, you know... That, you know, there's the real world and then there's the fake world. Now, of course, if you want to do a, uh, I mean, that would be a great scenario, you know. Uh, but, um, so, as far as reality, no, the doll may not be uh, realistic, but then again, dolls really are not meant to be realistic. Um, nobody, you know, you play with dolls to... Or you collect dolls because it, it represents something, uh, an ideal, and you don't want reality. Or in most cases, you don't want reality. So, um, I have to admit, she's really growing on me. Uh, I'm going to do another video, a more fun video. This video is already almost 10 minutes long, so I'm going to cut this one short. 
Uh, I'll leave a link for another video that I'm doing on my kid channel that where I'm going to do the experiment and do more fun stuff with her. Uh, so I hope you liked this video, and thanks for watching.